What's up, guys? Resident Dog with you. Today I'm going to be making a tiller handle for my own outboard motor. I added a jack plate to it. You can check out the video for that installation. And I need to get a longer tiller handle because the old one I had doesn't fit. So let's do it. Some things you're going to need to make the tiller handle. I'm using a 10 foot length of inch and a half schedule 40 PVC pipe. That's the shortest piece I can find, or it's like three feet long, and that's not going to be long enough. So, inch and a half schedule 40 PVC pipe. One end cap for the inch and a half pipe. Hose clamp. We're going to cut slots in the back of the pipe with the hacksaw. Allow it to expand and be able to clamp down tight. Some device to be able to tighten that down. I'm using an inch and a quarter hole saw. My kill switch is at the front of the handle. I need to put, drill a hole to be able to access that. Lastly, some sort of paint if you want to make it pretty. I'm using black. Trim of the boat's black. You can use whatever color you want. Let's get into it. Alright, I'm going to start by cutting two grooves in the end of the uh, PVC pipe. About three inches down. Alright, so cutting my grooves in, they're just to allow the end of the PVC pipe to expand to fit over top of this. So, now we got those cut, we'll slide it on and figure out our length. So this is about where I stand when I'm running my Ginu. I just want to get a comfortable feel and also figure out I don't want to go too far forward so I won't be able to get it behind me but a comfortable grip when I'm running but still enough to get it behind me so I think I'm going to go right about there so I got it marked my length let's get it cut down This really is inconsequential on this end because your cap's going to go on there, cover it up. Let's test fit. All right, we got the slit on. Let's see how she works. So I measured my tiller handle. It's five inches long. With my new extension on, I have two and a half inches exposed here. So there's two and a half inches inside the pipe. So two and a half inches up gives me the end of my tiller handle. I want to move the hole another two inches forward so I don't drill into that and I can reach my finger in there and shut the motor off. Two and a half inches up from the five. Mark that. The nice thing is this really isn't an exact science. Inch and a quarter hole saw.
All right, so here's the uh, pre-finished product. We've got all the work done on it. Now we just need to dress it up with the, with the paint. So got our end cap on the end. Got our inch and a quarter hole drilled so I can access the kill switch button. We've got our four slots cut so we'll fit over the tiller handle. So let's slap some paint on her and make her look pretty. So I drove a little stake into the ground. Hold that up right. We got two coats of paint on. This is the final product. Get ready to actually mount it to the tiller handle. on there tighten her down there it is to a handle go through the gear all right Kill switch. So, there's a quick video on how to make a custom tiller handle using PVC pipe. I've used one on my boat for a long time and it's worked really well for me. It's inexpensive, quick, and easy to do. Got any questions or comments? Drop them below. Smash the like and subscribe button. Have a good one.